This is the Negro Ninja. And today I'm going to discuss why you should not have insecure people in your immediate circle. You don't want them around you at all if you can help it. Okay, now it doesn't matter how cool people are. Okay, the insecurity is going to dissolve everything. So let's look up a couple of definitions for insecure from a few different sources. The first um, Google definition, not firmly fixed, liable to give way or break. Okay, so just by that alone, that doesn't sound like loyalty is there. Okay, liable to give way or break. Okay, then the first part, not firmly fixed. Can you think about a handshake and how you feel when a nigga doesn't give you a firm handshake? Okay, you don't feel as if you can trust that person due to that limp handshake. Let alone trust whether or not this person can save you if he was falling off of a cliff. Okay, just think about shaking somebody's hand and they're doing like this. Just Okay, that's just real strange at that point. All right, now let's, let's look up the Urban Dictionary definition of insecure. All right. The Urban Dictionary definition of insecure. Someone who doesn't have self-confidence, who is full of doubts about him slash herself. Okay, full of doubts. Okay. That's already another red flag. Okay, so let's click on doubts. Okay, an uncertain or undecided frame of mind calling into question something which is ambiguous or unclear. Okay, now what's an easy way to comprehend that? Games that these hoes play. Bitch, what does maybe mean? Okay, it's just something like that. Okay, so you are already at war. Okay, with your so-called um, party member. Okay, we haven't even got to the enemies yet. Okay, the enemy got to you. All right, and just the definition pretty much says a lack of focus more or less. Okay, and they say that the idol mind is the devil's playground. And that is what the devil is doing in the un I mean the insecure person's mind. Okay. All right. That's why you see so many low IQ people uncertain so much. I mean um insecure so much. Okay, they're not certain about where they're fixing to go in life, but one thing is for certain, they're gonna do something stupid. All right, and it's always a waste of time to try to comfort these type of people. Okay, it's always a waste of time to try to build these type of people. Okay, it's just like that parable that Jesus was saying when they was accusing him of being Satan. Let's read it. All right, and the scribes came down from Jerusalem. Hold up, and the scribes who came down from Jerusalem were saying he is possessed by... Beelzebub, and by the prince of demons, he cast out the demons. Okay, now just think about that insecure person. No matter what you say, okay, no matter if you even try to give this person steps on what to do to overcome it, they're just not going to do it. Okay, so 23, and he called to them and said to him, I mean, to, he said to them in parables, how can Satan cast out Satan? Okay, because the insecure person is Satan. Okay, if a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. If And if a house is divided against itself, that house will not be able to stand. If Satan has risen up against himself and is divided, he cannot stand but is coming to an end. But no one can enter a strong man's house and plunder his goods unless he first binds the strong man. Then indeed he may plunder his house. Okay. And we all know that Satan is always battling for your mind. So therefore the insecure person is already on Satan's side because he's losing. He's been captured. He's been binding and captured by the devil. 
Okay, that's what fear does. Fear is a binding spirit. Okay. Okay, that is why one is likely to do the most irrational things when they're just scared and they're fearful. <gasps> <laughs> Got full ammo and just threw it anyway. You know, it don't make any sense. Okay, Satan has binded their spirit and captured them. All right. And you think you're just talking to whoever you're talking to, but you're talking to an agent. Because nothing you can say will get through to that person. You're, gonna, is you, you're wasting your time. You're wasting your energy. Because instead of them trying to attack Satan to release the bind, they're going to start attacking you. All right. They're no longer a person. They're basically a ghoul at that point. And they're extremely aggressive. All right. And aggressiveness is, just, you know, and cowardice pretty much parallels one another. Okay. They, the more they fight you, the more they fight themselves. Okay. The more they fight you, the more they run from themselves. Okay. Because... They're going to start projecting stupid stuff onto you. Okay. And all of that is going to happen at the most so-called peaceful moment. So when you think it's peaceful. Okay. Because that's the perfect time to strike. When your guard is down. Everybody's just vibing. Okay. And then they just start telling you stupid stuff about what you're doing. Okay. Accusing you of whatever the heck they're doing. You know, you know what um, projection is. Okay, as soon as you start to shine, you showing off, you know. Okay, that's basically you trying to give your light to the world. And they're accusing you of giving it darkness. Okay, but I got to go to bed, so I'm going to just break down the rest of this tomorrow. And this has been the Negro Ninja bringing you your Negro message for today, Negro out.